Uh, hi everyone, this is Hong from University of Waterloo, where we got to have this chance to talk about our recent work on model serving systems. This is a joint work with uh, Yupeng, Anurag, and Yong. We know that nowadays a lot of interactive applications, including computer vision, ad targeting, and virtual assistants, they rely on efficient model serving. And for these applications, a user first has to submit a serving request, and the provider will serve the request uh, by performing model inference with a specific DNN model. And the results has to be returned to the user within some tight service deadlines ranging from tens to hundreds of milliseconds. And in many cases, the provider has to serve a large number of different model serving applications, and each application will generate a stream of user requests coming over time. And uh, different applications may require different DM models, and they are often uh, served using a large pool of hardware resources, typically uh, GPUs. And uh, making such serving system efficient is of great importance. It is reported that in Facebook, the serving system has to serve 200 trillion requests per day. And in AWS, model serving system accounts for over 90% of the model's uh, ML infrastructure cost. And at the core of this serving system, we need to make two important scheduling decisions. So first, model provision decisions, which determines which model to be loaded on which GPUs. And second, request serving decisions, so for each request, we have to determine what is the execution priority, what is the batch size, and which GPU to use. And we make these decisions to meet three major performance goals. So first, as these serving systems are super expensive, we want to achieve high resource utilization. And second, to serve requests at Facebook scale, we want to achieve good scalability. And third, to meet user requirements, we want to maximize the good put which reflects the number of requests that meet their deadlines. However, we find that meeting these three goals at the same time is very challenging. And one important reason is that the request arrivals are often highly bursty and unpredictable at small time granularities. And to see why this is the case, we have looked into a Microsoft production trace. The trace contains around 46K uh, application streams and it is noted to be representative of model serving workloads. So we find that many streams have arrival patterns like this, this, and this, uh, which is very bursty and hard to predict. And to quantify this observation, for each stream, we divide time into non-overlapping non time windows, and we measure uh, RT, the number of requests in each time window T. We then quantify workload unpredictability using our standard metric CV, coefficient of variation, regarding this RT. And here a large CV indicates high variation. And as we can see on the right, this figure shows the average CV across all streams with different uh, time window sizes. We can see that when the, time window, when the time window size is large, we can achieve a low CV, which indicates low variation. However, as we reduce the time window size, the CV grows rapidly to a very high value. So such results confirms our previous observation that arrival patterns can be predictable over long time scales, but bursty and unpredictable at short time scales. So we refer to this observation as short-term workload unpredictability. It is a long name, so sometimes we just call it unpredictability for short. So now we, on one hand, request have tight SEO requirements, and on the other hand, we just showed that workloads can be highly bursty and unpredictable at such small time scales. Well, these two factors together make model serving challenging. And we observe that existing solutions suffer from two problems with such unpredictability. To illustrate these problems, let's first talk about how existing solutions work. So many existing solutions adopt, adopt a periodic per stream policy. So they make provision and servant decisions for each stream separately. And these solutions are updated, these decisions are updated periodically typically every a few minutes. It is not surprising that such approach can achieve good scalability. However, when the workload is bursty and unpredictable, they can suffer from poor utilization. So for example, if we have a bursty arrival pattern like this, provision for the peak load, which is a large burst at the end of the stream, will lead to long GPU idle time and low resource utilization. So in contrast, some recent work adopted an online global policy which schedule all streams jointly and make decisions online. 
as we can see here, doing so can achieve better utilization because we can timely react to workload changes and we can time multiplex all GPUs across all uh, request streams. However, such solution is very hard to scale because the complexity grows super linearly with both the number of streams and the number of GPUs. So for example, a representative solution, Clockwork, can only scale to around 100 GPUs, and its peak good put is far from meeting Facebook's scalability requirement, which we mentioned earlier. And by comparing these two policies, we observe this trade-off between utilization and scalability. Moreover, we find that achieving high good put is also very challenging. As we can see in this very simple example, we have a request R arrive at time T with a very tight deadline. So we have to decide whether to execute or to drop this request immediately. So here in scenario A, where no requests arrive later, the optimal schedule is to execute this request. But in scenario B, where there is a large burst of uh, K requests arrives later, uh, executing request R will block these K requests which could have been executed together in a big batch. So from this simple example, we have two takeaways. First, we can see that whether a schedule is good or bad heavily depends on future request arrivals when the deadlines are tight. So this is, makes it very hard to make right schedules when workload is, is unpredictable. Moreover, different from many task scaling problems, requests can be executed in batches with different batch sizes. This further complicates the scheduling problem and it can also make some wrong scheduling decisions far from optimal. But unfortunately, most uh, current solutions rely on simple heuristics and cannot provide any guarantees on good put. This means that under unpredictable workloads, we will have no idea about how their performance will be compared to the optimal. Our analysis and evaluation shows that these solutions may perform well under certain workloads, but they can perform arbitrarily worse than the optimal with unpredictable workloads. So putting everything together, we can see that due to the utilization scalability trade-off and a lack of good put guarantees, existing solution cannot meet all the three performance goals at the same time. So here we are wondering, can we design a model serving system that is scalable, resource efficient, and also provide guaranteed high good put under unpredictable workloads? And in this paper, we answer the question with Shepard, a model serving system resilient to workload unpredictability. So now let's talk about how we break the utilization and scalability trade-off. So recall this figure which we used to show the unpredictability of request streams. So here instead of measuring the per stream unpredictability, we measure a new metric, which we call group level uh, predictability. More specifically, we randomly classify request streams into groups with group size of G. And instead of calculating the CV for each stream, we calculate the CV for each group of streams. And the figure on the right shows the average per group CV with different group sizes. We can see that with a group size of 100 to 1,000 streams, the CV is already close to zero even at short time scales. So such observation indicates that while individual streams are bursty and unpredictable, group of, uh, group of streams can have more stable and uh, predictable aggregated patterns. Moreover, we do not need to group all the 40K streams to achieve this. A moderate group size of hundreds to thousands of uh, streams can already provide good predictability at the group level. And based on this observation, we propose a group multiplexing design, which breaks the scheduling decision into two levels. So at the first level, we have this planning phase, which is triggered periodically. So the purpose of this planning phase is to partition the entire serving system, including request streams, models, and GPUs, into isolated groups. And then for each group, we run our online serving component, which performs online request scheduling across all streams within the group. So how can such two-level design break the trade-off? So first, since the online serving is only performed within each group, moderate group sizes can lead to good scalability. And second, since moderate group sizes also provide good predictability, we can perform accurate resource provisioning and efficient intra-group multiplexing for each group which can lead to high utilization. So following this uh, intuition, we, provide, pro we propose HERD, a planning algorithm to make efficient grouping decisions. 
We formulate her that as an optimization problem which considers scalability and the utilization and constraints and goals. For more details, please refer to our paper. And next, we provide guaranteed high good put by proposing an online serving algorithm, FLEX. So for this part, I want to mention three points. So first, we formulate the, scaling, the serving problem as a novel online batch scaling problem. And second, we ensure bounded good put compared to, compared to offline optimal schedule. And third, to achieve this bond, we leverage several key ideas including preemption and batch aware uh, prioritization. So now I will skip most of the details and only talk about some high level takeaways regarding preemption. So since unpredictability makes it very hard to make right schedules, our idea is to exploit preemption to timely correct previous schedules. And to apply preemption in model serving, we have to answer two questions. So first, how critical is preemption for model serving? So preemption is not free, it introduces overheads. So we want to make sure if we really need it. So for this problem, we have proved that it is actually impossible to achieve guaranteed good put without preemption under unpredictable workloads. And the second question is when and how to preempt. Two, two conservative, uh, two conservative uh, preemption will only lead to marginal improvement, but two aggressive preemption will lead to cascading preemption behavior, which will lost a lot of GPU resources. So uh, for this question, uh, we design an efficient preemption policy to optimize the good put guarantee. And if you're, you're interested, you can find all the math in the paper. Next, we implement Shepard and evaluate the performance on a test bed with 12 GPUs. We generate two, work, uh, two workloads based on the Microsoft trace, and uh, we map the trace to uh, 17 popular DNN models. We we'll compare Shepard with Clockwork, a representative online global policy, and a Nexus, a representative periodic per stream policy. And this figure shows the good put of Shepard on the different uh, system load. So the XX x-axis shows the load as incoming request per second. We can see that, that when the load increases, Shepard can achieve much higher good put compared to Clockwork and Nexus. And such results show the power of our online scheduling algorithm Flex, which achieves up to 18 times higher good put under high load. And next, this figure shows the system utilization. We can see that Nexus achieves suboptimal utilization, especially under a more bursty workload. And this is due to its periodic per stream design. In contrast, both Shepard and Clockwork can achieve over 95% utilization due to efficient multiplexing. Moreover, we evaluate Shepard using large scale emulations. In this experiment, we increase the load proportionally as we increase the number of workers. And the figures here show how the good put increases as we increase the number of workers. The first, we can see that Nexus achieves linear scaling but it scales very slowly due to its low utilization, which we have just showed. In contrast, we can see that the good put of clockwork scales much faster at the beginning. However, it saturates at around 50K requests per second due to poor uh, scalability. And as for Shepard, first, it achieves uh, 1.8 times higher good put than Nexus due to higher utilization. Also, we can see that it scales almost linearly which leads to 2.5 times higher good put than clockwork due to better scalability. So such results show that we can effectively break the trade-off with our grouping design herd. So finally, I want to conclude uh, uh, the talk with three points. The first, model serving systems require good scalability, high utilization, and guaranteed high good put. But achieving these goals is challenging due to unpredictable workload. And second, we find existing solutions suffer from two problems, a trade-off between utilization and scalability, and a lack of good put guarantees. And finally, to address these problems, we, pro we propose Shepard with two components, a periodic planner herd, which breaks the trade-off by exploiting group multiplexing, and an online scheduler flex, which provides bounded good put compared to the offline optimal. And uh, this is the end of my talk. Thank you very much for your attention.